combat-related post-traumatic stress disorder is notoriously difficult to treat. Dr. Leslie Telfer is on the leading edge of PTSD treatment, and she joins us today to talk about prolonged exposure therapy. Dr. Telfer, what is PTSD and how does it affect our veterans? PTSD comes from having a life-threatening, terrifying, or horrifying event. And our veterans run into it in many places, but mainly in war zones, uh, most recently Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, and it affects them in terms of they have nightmares, um, memories that they don't want to have, they, have, uh, they can be very irritable, uh, have trouble sleeping, be very jumpy and on guard all the time. And as a result of all of that, they just try to push all of this away and that leads them to avoid things. They avoid thinking about it, talking about it, um, situations and people that remind them of those experiences. And sometimes they, they say that they feel very numb inside and that they're having a hard time connecting with other people. Now, a fairly new therapy that we're working with on, on especially our wartime veterans is called prolonged exposure. And it does just the opposite, doesn't it? This therapy was developed about 20 years ago by Dr. Edna Foa at the University of Pennsylvania and they first they used it with sexual assault survivors but most recently we've been using it with war zone and combat veterans and it's been remarkably effective. About 80 percent of people who undergo the therapy experience a significant decrease in their symptoms and that's very exciting for us. Now how does it work? Well, it works by, as you said, doing exactly the opposite of that inclination to avoid. So what we do is we have people come in and uh, they revisit their traumatic memories in the office, in the safety of the office with a therapist. Uh, they, we actually record the revisiting of the memories. So they close their eyes and sit back and they talk through that most traumatic experience that they've had. They to describe it from the beginning to the end and when they get to the end they go back to the beginning and they start over again and they do that as many times as they can within about 30 or 45 minutes. Once we're done with that then we process that because really Dr. Foa thinks that PTSD is a result of the lack of emotional processing of a traumatic experience and so we spend the last part of the session processing that traumatic uh, event that they've just revisited. Um, then they do homework, and the homework involves, first of all, listening to that tape of the imaginal exposure over and over again um, in between sessions, and then secondly, having them go out uh, into the community and do all of the activities that they've been avoiding. We have them do it in a very gradual fashion. We start with the easiest stuff and work up to the harder stuff. And then how long does this take, and uh, what have you noticed that it does for them? Well, it takes anywhere from about 10 to 15 weekly 90-minute sessions. And what I've seen with the patients that I've worked with is um, PTSD really um, constricts people's lifestyle. As they avoid more and more things, their lives get smaller and smaller and smaller. And the therapy does the opposite. It gets people out of their homes, it improves their, the quality of their lives, um, and it gives them the freedom to uh, to be inside their own head without fear of what might come up in their mind. Well, it just sounds like you're doing absolutely wonderful things for our young returning warriors, and we appreciate you for doing and that. And we're very excited to be working with our newest vets, great, as well as all they? of our vets. Yeah, yeah they are. Great. They bring yeah. a level of energy that we haven't had, yes, so it's kind do. of fun having yeah. them. Thank you so much for your time today. Oh, well, thank you for having me. If you think that you or a loved one might be suffering from PTSD, we urge you to contact a mental health professional at your local VA healthcare system for diagnosis and referral. How can you reduce muscle tension, improve flexibility, coordination, and boost your energy level? Well, Rob Repka at our VA Wellness Center says stretching is the key. Rob showed me a few easy moves that'll help you move easier. I'm here with my personal trainer, Rob Repka, and today we're going to do some stretching. That's right. We're going to be talking about basic stretches for different areas of the body, the shoulders, the back, the legs, common areas that people are generally tight in and need to improve their flexibility. Okay. So what are we going to start with? 
The first thing I like to have people try to do is stretch the upper back, an okay. area where a lot of tension usually rides. Mm -hmm. So we clasp our hands in front. Okay. We sit tall. We reach out. Okay. And you're going to round the shoulders as if you're pulling a rope. Oh, okay. okay. You're going to roll oh. side to side. Side. Okay. Allowing the shoulder to come up. Oh. Okay, on each side. And you should feel this right between your shoulder blades. I, this feels good, Rob. Okay. <laughs> this is great to do first thing in the morning. Oh my gosh. Okay. Then what we're going to do is do the opposite direction. We're going to take okay. the hands behind the back. Okay. Palms together. All right. Pull your shoulders back. Oh. And lift your arms. Lift my arms. Okay. You want to lift as high as you can without pain. Okay. okay. And this stretches for the chest muscles, oh. the biceps, uh -huh. and the front of the shoulder. Okay. okay. This is very that important because too. most office workers are sitting at the computer oh, terminal all day. day long. Your chest yeah. muscles stay tight, your uh -huh. shoulders round, okay, <sighs> even when you're driving. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to open up the chest. And expand it. To be able to Get rip, it back. let the ribs expand, you can breathe deeper. Okay. 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 Now also these stretches can be done in a standing position. Okay. Okay. So you don't right. have to do them sitting. Mm -hmm. Standing is just another option. And they're simple enough to do in the office. Anywhere yeah, you want. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Once you've done the upper body stretches, mm -hmm. you can sit on the mm -hmm. floor, a comfortable mat like we have, mm -hmm. okay, with your feet out in front of you. Okay. okay. A simple stretch to your ankles okay. or your toes, depending toes, on your level of flexibility, uh -huh. is a perfect way to, to start stretching the back of the legs mm -hmm. and the lower back. And, okay. Yeah. So when you reach, mm -hmm. you want to look forward. Forward. Okay. okay. Reaching oh. with your chin. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So let's see how far out you can go. Good. And you have the option of grabbing under the ankles. Oh, okay. okay. To help pull yourself forward. Okay. Oh, and get this a is important stretch. so that you're not straining the back just to do the stretch. Oh. Okay. You really want to focus on feeling behind mm -hmm. the legs. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now again, this also can be done in the standing position, but with mm -hmm. folks who have previous back injuries, there's uh, more modifications. So okay. we like to simplify it by doing it on the floor. Okay. Another way we can do this stretch is to bring one leg on the inside okay. of the other, sitting tall, mm -hmm. and reaching out with both hands. Okay. On the leg that's out. Right. Okay. And you would do this on both sides. Oh, so okay. just alternate it. And okay. alternate sides. Many people ask me how long should I hold the stretches, mm -hmm. and I tell them at least 20 to 30 seconds on wow. each side. So that is a good while. Okay. Okay. And again, you feel that in lots of places. Feel it in lots it's of wonderful. places. So it's a yeah. good short way mm -hmm. to stretch major areas of the body to get ready for your exercise okay. or after your exercise. Wow. And and what about that flexibility? How does this help with that mobility that we well, were talking about? What it about? does is it enables you to move more freely, mm -hmm. right, with more productivity. Wow. Okay. And of course, it reduces your risk. Of for injury. injury. That's right. Right. Okay. So let me just try it on the other one. All right. Hands so. together, reaching forward with the chin. Oh, the chin. See, I keep looking down, so it's right. real important Reach to put forward. that chin out. And that's just to protect the back. Okay. And just help keep the muscle up. That's right. Well, very well worked that time. Thank you so much. That's all for today. If you'd like to learn more about our guests or topics, please visit us at our website at phoenix.va.gov. I'm Paula Padine. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to join us for our next episode of To Your Health.